Hi everybody, it's Leonie here from WCKI and with yet another exciting, super cool stitch. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make the star stitch and you have to forgive me, but I love the things that's, that we can create. I love how beautiful it is. I love the look. I just love being creative. So yes, I think this stitch is super, super awesome. If you want to make the star stitch, you have to work in a odd number of stitches so i'm going to start off here by making 25 chains i've got my first 20 already but just a quick refresher on the chain it's yarn over pull through that's one yarn over two yarn over three four five so there I have my 25 stitches now. I'm just going to make a small section here for you. But you can make this as long as you would like or as short as you like. As long as you work on an odd number of stitches. The star stitch is also ideal to use on scarves or blankets. I used it recently. I made a beautiful jacket. And some of the, the rows I used the star stitch in. And I must say it, it came out rather beautiful. Right, let's go. So for the star stitch, row one, we work in multiples of six. So now we go. Our first loop is on the hook already. So I count that as one, two, three, four, five and six we have to have six loops on now bear in mind that the next rows are going to look slightly different but we are doing our foundation row here so it's going to be a bit slow but we've got six loops on the hook now once you've got your six loops yarn over and then pull through all six of those loops you don't want to pull your loops too tight because then you're going to battle to get the needle through like, or the hook through like now. Once you've got it through, yarn over, chain one. And there's the start of our star. Now, again, working in multiples of six. First hook, no, first loop is on the hook already. Mm, tongue tied again today. So there's my first loop. Then for number two, let me bring this closer here. I'm going to go into that stitch over there. There's number two. Number three, I'm going to go into the side of my stitch that I have there. Can you see? Let me just try and pull it out for you. So I'm going to put in number three there. I pulled it slightly too tight because I wasn't watching what I was doing. See what happens if you pull it too tight. So let's just wriggle it out a little bit. It's good that this happens now so I can show you that if you make it too tight, you might have to just rather undo it because otherwise you're going to get frustrated. You can't get the needle in there. So what we do is we pull it out. And let's do them again. One, two, three. So that's the danger of pulling it too tight. You won't get the needle, the, the hook through, sorry. Four, five. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lift it out slightly. There's six. Yarn over. Pull it through. Make your stitch, but don't pull it too tight. So let's start again. One into that little loop there. Number two, into the side of that stitch, we go with number three. Then into the stitch where we started off, that will be number four. And then onto the new chain, or the, the your foundation chain, number five and number six. So the first four stitches all comes from your previous star that you made and then we're only going to 
use two new chains. Yarn over, pull through and chain one. Not too tight, otherwise we're going to battle. So let's do another one. So there I've got my first loop. There's loop number two. Loop number three goes into the side of my stitch. Like that. Number four goes into the end of the last stitch where we ended off. Number five and number six. Again, there we have our six loops. Yarn over and we pull it through. Chain one. So let me bring it closer for you now. There's my first loop. Come on camera. The second loop will go in there. The third loop goes into my stitch. Fourth, fifth, six. So let's go. Number one is on the hook. There is number two. Now we go for number three. See, if you don't pull it too tight, it's quite easy to get it in. Number four, number five, and number six. Don't pull it too tight. Pull it through and chain one. Let's do one more. So number one is on the hook. Now we go for number two. And into the side of the stitch, for number three, into that stitch there, for number four, into a new stitch, five, another new stitch, six. Just raise it up a bit so it's not too tight. And Pull through all. Chain one. Now you will continue in this way to the end of your row. So when you get to the end of the row, that's what your row will look like. At the end of the row, you should have one stitch that you can end off with. And I'm just going to do a double crochet into that last stitch. Bring up the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And there we finished off this first row. So that is row one of your star stitch. So let's finish off the star stitch. Row two, turn your work and yank everything out and drop it. And then you pick it up again. It's been one of those days. Do you also get those? I've had one of those. I drop stuff. Let's try again. Here we go. So to start off with, I'm going to chain two, which will count as my first stitch. So do remember that when you come back for your third row, that you will do your double crochet into that last stitch. Then I am going to into this little gap that we made here from our chain. In here, I'm gonna do one, two half double crochets. So it's yarn over, go to the next little hole. You see the little hole there? Go to the next hole, put it through, yarn over, bring up the loop, yarn over needle, and Pull through all three of the loops. Yarn over, back into the same hole, bring up the yarn, yarn over, and pull through two. So those two half double crochets that you're making now in this row. If you flip it over, it is now completed your little star stitch for you. Pretty. Let's do a few more. So you will put two half double crochets into each and every little hole that you can see here from the previous row that you made now. 
So let's go. Yarn over into my little hole. Half double crochet number one. Yarn over into the same space. Yarn over and half double crochet two. And you will continue in this manner to the end of the row. And I'll meet you right at the end. So in each and every little hole, you will put in two half double crochets. Now I've completed my row of half double crochets. When I get to the last stitch, I'll just make a half double crochet into that very last stitch there that we can see. Just to finish off the round. I'm in the row. There we go. Now let's start our new row. Can you see that? Isn't that just too lovely? There you have a beautiful star stitch. Now let's start row three. We're going to start off by making three chains. One, two, and three. Loop number one is on the hook. Then we go, there's loop two, loop three, the stitch that we started in, four, five, six, there's our six loops again, yarn over, and again, to be careful not to make it too tight, pull it through. And then I go and pull it tight again. Maybe I'll learn by the end of this video that I shouldn't pull it too tight. Three. Where are we now? There we go. Four. Five. Six. That looks better. And chain one. And we follow the process again. Into the little loop. That's number two. The side of the stitch is number three. The last stitch that we gathered there is number four. And then two new stitches. Five and six. Not too tight. Hold it loosely. Can you see there? There it goes now. Easy. It's got to glide through. If it catches, just stop and check and see what's going on. And chain one so that's two three four five and six again we pull it through and chain one Just look at that. Last one. And then you can carry on. Loop number one is on the hook. Into the side for number two. Into that stitch for number three. Into that stitch for number four. A new stitch on the, the row. Five. And another new one. Six. Six loops on the hook. Yarn over. And we pull it through. Chain one. It's very important that you don't make your loops too tight. I've shown you now what happens if we pull it too tight. Or if you put the yarn over and you pull this too tight. Your crochet hook needs to glide through. Otherwise you're going to become rather frustrated. And you're going to yank it out. And especially if, you, if you're... Your wool tends to split. Um, it is going to cause much frustration for you. So let me just move that. The sun is making a reflection on the desk here. So let's have a look. Let's do one more together. So loop number one is on the hook. Then we go number two. Into the side of the stitch for number three. In that stitch where we came out. Number four. Number five and number six. Lift it out a little bit, yarn over and pull through. Can you see it catches there somewhere? So you've got to guide it gently 
There we go. If it pulls to start there, please just stop and redo it. And chain one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Yarn over. And pull through. Chain one. Beautiful. I'll see you at the end of this row. So the end of row three, that is what your work will look like. Now once again, I'm going to turn, I'm going to chain two, and then into each little hole there. I'm going to do two half double crochets. Let me bring as close as you can see. Into this hole right here. That we made there. That's where your half double crochets come. So if I pull it slightly, can you see there? So let's do that. This is the repeat that you will use for your required length. So there's my two. So half double crochet. Oops. One, two, one, two, one, and two. And you will continue with that row. So this is a repeat that you will use your six stitches on this side and when you get to the wrong side you will do two half double crochets in each of that little stitch that you made there by your chain one and that is how we do the star stitch you can make this any width any length in a blanket in a scarf and like I mentioned earlier, I made a jacket and I used this stitch in the jacket on the sleeves. I did a few rows on the on the sleeve of this as well as on the body of the, the jacket. I made a few rows in this beautiful star stitch. Have fun everybody. See you again soon.